but they sit now, and they jump away from the 1400 meter marker. Pike Place got a bit of a squeeze at the start. So the early leader is Breath of Magic along the inside and Kunda Gold in the light blue and he's going off to lead them now. Rock of Bisman Tova is in the red sleeves and the blue cap just off the pace. Towards the outside, Guardio Jean, Crepu Scholar further back, then three bells play with fire. Black sleeves is two from the right hand side and then comes Pedesos. There's only about five lengths that cover them past the 1000 meter mark and it's in Kunda Gold, the leader with Breath of Magic in the light blue towards the inside. Then comes Pike place in the orange further back Pedesos got white blinkers then comes Rock of Bismantova that's in the center the red sleeves and blue cap Crepus Scholos further back in the field then comes Guardia Regine play with fire and three bells they come to the final 500 meters and they spread right across the track Breath of Magic in front narrowly Pike place up along the inside Guardia Regine looks to get into the hunt that's the white with the multicolored spots then comes Crepus Scholos further back is Pedesos it's Breath of Magic with three to go. Rock of Bismantova comes to challenge it. Down the inside is Pike Place. Then comes Crepus Scholar, but it's Rock of Bismantova now. Crepus Scholar, Breath of Magic. Three of them join each other. Breath of Magic down the inside. Crepus Scholar on the outside. Breath of Magic, Crepus Scholar. Crepus Scholar got there from Breath of Magic. Then came Play with Fire and Pike Place. There's the head on replay. Your winner is in the middle. has got the white face, black sleeves. That's uh, joined up there with Rock of Bismantova in the middle in the red sleeves and towards the inside in the light blue with Breath of Magic. The three of them came to fight it out with a hundred to go, but Crepus Scholar got the better of Breath of Magic into the closing stages. So it's number six, the winner, and that was ridden by Tepiso Matsuele and trained by Fabian Habib. Six, three, ten, and one are the numbers that you need for race number one. Lovely, big, imposing, strapping son of new predator, this Crepa Scholar, bred at the Piemonte stud. Well done to Martin Botman, the winning owner, Fabian Habib, and Tapiso Matsuele team up in this work riders event. Uh, well done, Tapiso. Nice big horse. You need a step ladder to get on him. Yeah, and he's, uh, he's, he's nice and chunky. You know, it's delicious to ride him, actually. Yeah, uh, coming back to, to, you know, riding him, it was... Uh, it was it was a, it was a god given to to me uh, from uh, Mr. Budman to Mr. Nesif and everybody back at home. All the uh, the, the the masters who taught me how to ride the likes of Mr. Fortune, we missed the the Kenny man, but it's fine. But coming back to him, you know, coming out the gates, you know, I knew I had him stone cold. He still, I will actually take today as a as a as a, as a, a race that he actually. He went into high school today, and I'm, I'm, I'm expecting him to, to grow more from that. And I'm, whew, lovely, no stick required, hand jammed. Then God came through. <laughs> how, mu how much more has he got to come? Because he's such a nice big horse. He looks like he'll develop as he goes over ground. What do you think? Does he give you that feel? Yeah, he gave me a, a lot of feel. Uh, I, this horse, I think he's, a, he's a, one of those top rated horses. Uh, without my hand jamming and, and me going, I didn't actually, couldn't go for the power. Hand jamming, I mean the handbrake went up. Yeah, the <laughs> you, could say, you could say that because I, I broke my arm and, and it's one of my powerful arms actually to, to start off my... One of your powerful arms, okay, so yeah. Yes, and, and it went to gain two, three, and they did gear when I changed my hand, should be going here by four, five. Okay, thank yeah. you. <laughs> he, he is entertaining, he's great. When he, when he asks for rides, you, you always know you're gonna have a smile on your face. Come a little bit closer, Fabian. To the eye, this is a very appealing horse. Never mind the fact that he's just won. I remember phoning you after he went down to the start in his debut, spot on. You said, well, you're not ready to win, but he'll run the first four. He did exactly that. Um, did he come on with that first run under the belt? How much more has he got to, to learn as well? You know, he did come on. I think he's a very laid back horse. You only see the best of him when he goes to the 18, 2000. But like I discussed with the owner, he's the 1400 for now should shoot him to the ground. And to Martin Bothman, champion supporter of the stable to his wife Heidi thank you very much whatever you do for the stable they've supported the stable they've they bought like 15 20 horses thank god it was it's slowly coming right for him but you know he's got patience he never complains and to Jonathan Nassif the the big boss to my father-in-law Zach 
to George, and most importantly to God and to Tepo Matsole, and to my sponsor, PAG Cleaning. Thank you. Horses excite you, horses surprise you. Where does this horse stand in terms of the excitement levels or are you surprised that he's come to hand being such a big boy so so quickly? I mean, where do you actually stand on this horse? You know what, like I said, you only see the best when he goes the 18, 2000, but I don't think the penny's dropped yet. Just don't get excited, we'll take it step by step and uh, please God he can win many more for the owner. Well, this is nice. 5,000 rand to the winning trainer courtesy of Betway. That's going to go down well. Can we put the 5,000 on the cars? No, I'm going to give this all to my father-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. So there we go, courtesy of Betway. Also not forgetting the 1,500 Rand World Sports Betting Prize. Well done, John. Sure. I know that this is obviously Martin Botmer's horse, but uh, obviously here to represent Martin as well. Nice, nice horses. Thank you. Uh, I've, I, I've actually got a share in this horse after the ran first time out. Um, he gave me a share in Martin. I phoned him and I said, I need a share in this horse. I really like him and I think he's progressive. And he said, shot boy whatever you want. And I want to thank him for that. Um, thank him for all his support and uh, his patience. He's, uh, I mean, he hasn't been on a great trot with us, but a lot of the horses were in their place. So hopefully from here they can start to progress and we can look forward. Now you the man with all the answers. I like I always like what cost on the straight. Um, I know that he'll run the odd bad race, but what are you expecting today? Because I, he's in everything for me. You know, he, he's a big runner, but you know, he's also eight year old. He's, I think he's limited. He's going to win a race here. It's no good thing, but he's got a good chance. You know, he's in the right field to win. So you, but he's, he's not a horse you can just put your head down and say, go. Like this horse here, I could have told you. In my, I knew in my heart on work and that he's going to improve and it's there, right race. That horse, he can win, but it's no like put and collect. Anything we can put our head down on today? I like Gavin in the third. Thank you. Shot. Have a good day. And then to my dad, to the jock, to Fabian and his team, my brother and all the supporters, and to God, thanks for everything. We'll have a good day if Gavin wins the third and we'll cast wins. Well done. Thank you, brother. God bless. Thank God you. bless uh, Jonathan and Zaki. Well done to all of them. And it's Creposcolo who uh, takes out race number one, which is Nico uh, translated in the uh, preview. It means dusk in Italian. Well done to all the guys. Creposcolo wins race number one. Race two begins the PA.